Lorenzo beaten in qualifying, the main beneficiary. For Katie Bolter, she has played Paolini before, and I sh think she may have taken something from that previous. Um, Paolini, a player who has been on the circuit slightly longer than Di Lorenzo, but the American certainly a player who is making some uh, eye-catching strides in the formative years of her beating some established tour players, the likes of Bibian Schuss and Kirsten Flipkins in the final. Both Irani and Venus Williams winning their campaigns or their two titles in Acapulco when it was a... Well, there was some deviation on the flight of the ball, but I think the wind had a, an effect once again that... Service game lasting 10 minutes. Signs of aggression already from Bolt. He just as she tries to lay down a marker of sorts, uh, still catching up. It's 40 15 for Di Lorenzo. Lorenzo, no problems whatsoever for the 22 year old left hander. Bolt has stopped. I think she thought her serve was. And the unforced error count keeps on Di Lorenzo. Well, that will help as well. Slightly belated hand signal, but the call was made. It was a fairly quiet one. That was why I was just thrown slightly off guard there. It did look good. The ball was coming back at a, a rapid rate of knots towards the British player. In a very creditable performance in from five, the score. Svitolina, the fifth seed in Melbourne, but Bolter really struck the ball very well that day. 27 winners. Now, Bolter with her really pegged back on the back foot, Bolter belt. By reaching the second round in Melbourne, where she Is a full use of their good fortune by going all the way to win a title. Coco Goff, of course, uh, demonstrated. Excellent placement right there. Who is taking a good look at this? The ball is left. King. That's a measure of how confident. Do with a. <laughs> yeah, she stays there. Not by much. 